mateys welcome to sea of thieves this is damron um those of you that have seen my tall tales series i have a complete guide set for all of the tall tales in sea of thieves however a recent update added some variations um to some of the stories so now we have a little bit more variability in the missions than we did before so i'm adding a little bit of supplement guides to supplement the additional things that you're going to find so on the legendary storyteller we got five new possible missions from tasha's storybook the first one is windy wings and this is actually going to take you to plunder valley and on the left side of the screen you have the characteristic island with the bird's beak on it and if you go to the left there actually is a little bird statue with some stairs coming down on it and a compass pointing to the west leading to maybe some junk on the land where a treasure chest has been buried and that's indeed where we need to go so this is going to take us to plunder valley and you really need to launch yourself all the way up to the top of the island and that's where we're going to find that kind of bird statue with the stairs leading down if you haven't seen that before so go ahead and launch yourself all the way up here and here you go you can see this bird statue with these stairs right there so if we whip out our compass and just like the book we go west from there eventually we're going to come up on a little skeleton bones here dig right there and you're going to have your treasure All right, then the next of the new five ones is Birthday Party, which is going to take you to Wander's Refuge. Easily identified because you have Sailor's Knot, Lagoon of Whispers, and Twin Groves um, all around it. And if you look at the map, that's going to place you at Wander's Refuge. And you can take note on the left side of her image, which I'll show you again here. There's Sailor's Knot, Lagoon of Whispers, Twin Grove. There you go. So if you look back on the left side, right, is the drop down cliff that you're going to see on Wander's Refuge. I'll show you in a minute. And just to the right of that is the characteristic well that a lot of experienced players use as a point of reference on that island because things are hard to find on that island. But if you look up there to the left is where that cliff drop off is. And in the image in the book, the treasure was buried next to some, um, you know, uh, palm trees so if we launch ourselves up onto this island and we go to um, the characteristic well and we go south from that just like her book we're basically looking for some palm trees and if we walk south up the hill boom here we are take your dig get your treasure and get on to the next step all right, on to the third of the possible five new stories is Monster Island. And this is going to take you to Thieves Haven. I love the name of this because, you know, Tasha was a kid writing this story, right? Monster Island. It's the only island that has this large, you know, cave entrance where you can really sail it into. And if you've played Sea of Thieves at all, you recognize that immediately as soon as you open the book but anyway they find this monster this three-headed monster fight it a bit and now i guess his head is laying on the island and she's buried the chest right in front of the, the three-headed monster uh remains which turns out to be a three-headed statue that you've probably seen on the top of sea of thieves so or not on the top of sea of thieves but on top of thieves haven um, so if you launch yourself up there and make your way all the way around to those that three-headed statue um, you'll find the treasure just at the feet of that statue and that's going to be on the southeastern portion of the top part All right, on to the fourth of the um, new five editions is Scary Friends. This is going to take you to Kraken's Fall. This is a pretty cool little story. Starts on Tri-Rock Isle. Looks like they're riding the Kraken. She says, welcome to my home. They were friends. So that's your clue that it's at Kraken's Fall. You know, it's gone south from Tri-Rock and it's the Kraken, you know, blah, blah. But they end up killing the Kraken by, it looks like, rubbing, you know, shoving a bow of a ship through its mouth. And she decided to leave a treasure with it because they were friends on the back of the remains of the Kraken. So if you actually go to the north uh, aspect of Kraken's Fall, you'll find the remains of a Kraken up there, all of its bones. And indeed, the treasure is going to be in the bones of the Kraken. So launch yourself over there. You can actually climb up the tail. Uh, I tried to la land on it, but that's kind of a difficult shot. I imagine that would be difficult to cannon onto it. But once you climb up the tail, you're going to find the key in between some uh, one of the vertebra and the ribs right here.
All right, on to the final story edition in the Legendary Storyteller is Rescue Mission. This is an amazing drawing by, um, you know, in this journal, considering she was a kid. I mean, the detail here is actually really great if you understand the island when it takes you to Crook's Hollow, which you know, you know, Paradise Spring, bottom left, Barnacle K, top right, that's going to put you right here. But the underground cave system is really cool. Even has the ladder going down from the top of the middle of uh, Crook's Hollow. And then on the right right hand side you see the two bridges that eventually lead into the top portion of the cave system and she's buried the chest before those wooden bridges so the detail is actually pretty cool um, in this particular story for a kid so let's go to the southern tip of crooks hollow and if we look at the island from the southern tip you'll see those two wooden bridges that correspond to what you're seeing on the right hand side of the page right there so launch up there and we're going to dig just before the first bridge on the eastern side and or the western bridge we're going to go west of that bridge and we're going to dig right there in that sand and that will be the final new addition to the legendary storyteller locations of tasha's story so i hope you guys found this helpful if you are just starting these tall tales and you're getting some of these newer stories that weren't covered in the original complete guide i hope you guys found this helpful i hope you enjoyed it if you like my stuff feel free to like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you out on the seas